okay so let us see what is this question now okay a ball of mass m collides with a wall and bounces back in a straight line so it is not changing its direction the ball losses 75% of its initial energy okay it's not talking about initial velocity now initial energy during the collision the speed before the collision is v the magnitude of the impulse on on the wall on the ball by the wall will be wow now that's a very beautiful question it is having couple of uh, steps that we need to uh, follow so please be uh, careful about this thing so first of all what is the initial kinetic energy this is the initial kinetic energy now it bounces back from this place like this and 75% of energy is lost so 75% of energy is lost so it rebounds with the rest of the energy that is 25% of kinetic energy so i can say that kinetic energy final let us say half m v dash square this will be basically the 25% of half m v square because v is the initial kinetic energy so 25% of this energy is left 75% is lost okay fine now this is the first part of the question the second part is because we want to find impulse so you might be aware of uh, impulse momentum theorem so basically the impulse is equal to change in momentum and as per vector equation is concerned we can write it like this final momentum minus initial momentum so one direction has to be taken to be positive another will be taken as negative so i am choosing uh, this direction as positive and this direction as negative so initial kinetic um, uh, momentum will be negative kinetic energy is a scalar quantity that is why we never take them as positive or negative it is always positive but momentum can be positive as well as negative so according to this place now p2 is our final momentum just a moment okay so our final momentum uh we will find it from this place now half into m and v dash square will be 25 divided by 100 v square so v dash is equal to 5 by 10 into v so it becomes v by 2 so our final momentum will be m into v by 2 minus of minus of mv because our initial momentum will be taken as negative so that will be minus mv and the final momentum will be positive mv by 2 so this is our change in momentum so we take mv as common so it will become half plus 1 yes it will be 3 by 2 m into v so our answer will be d let us uh, verify this once uh, yes the mark scheme says that the answer is d so just a moment uh, okay anyways it, it just uh, moved um, a bit the image has moved now so i don't know how to handle it now okay fine let it be so this is how we solve this question sorry for the problem at the end of the video so all the best. Bye.